Hello, Dr. G here from naturalfoodsdiet.org. Today I want to talk about what I believe to be one of the big reasons why most people in today's world feel like crap. How do I know this? Well, I might have a slightly biased view since I'm a medical doctor and most of the people that come in to see me aren't feeling that well. But I found that low dopamine levels are common, if not epidemic. What is dopamine, you may be asking? It's a neurotransmitter, and when it's present at optimal levels, it gives us a feeling of well-being, a good mood, improved cognition, and it also regulates motor functioning, meaning the control of movement, so we can do fancy things like twirl our girlfriend around while we're dancing. Dopamine is also associated with a feeling of pleasure that we get with certain activities like sex, bungee jumping, gambling, alcohol and drugs. They all give us a dopamine surge. As we age, dopamine goes down and oftentimes a person's pleasure in life goes down along with it. Levels start decreasing generally after the age of 45 and when dopamine levels are low, there is also an associated accelerated brain aging. Now, it's not only older people that are affected. Today, increasing conditions like ADHD are also connected with low dopamine levels. One of the mechanisms of lower levels is an increase in MAOB, which metabolizes dopamine to lower levels. MAOB levels tend to go up as we age. There's a drug used to treat Parkinson's disease called Depronil that lowers MAOB, thus increasing dopamine levels. Recently, there's been a supplement that's been studied that also is an MAOB inhibitor, wild green oat extract. This supplement has been shown to increase some aspects of cognitive function, brain processing speeds, and mood. There are also lifestyle changes that can improve dopamine. These include improving, improving your sleep patterns, getting a massage, meditating, exercising. Another way is setting and achieving goals. It's been shown to be helpful for stimulating dopamine secretion. Foods high in L-tyrosine, which is the amino acid precursor for dopamine, is found in meat, poultry, beans, nuts, eggs, dairy, and seafood. So getting these in your diet can be helpful. It's also been discovered that dopamine production is increased with the exposure to light in the eye. Studies show the aging eye has a reduction in dopamine levels. Tyrosine, that amino acid precursor for dopamine, absorbs ultraviolet light frequencies. So what does that mean for you? Man-made artificial lights used today are fluorescent and LEDs. These lights don't contain any ultraviolet frequencies. Now, what kind of light does have these frequencies? Well, one is the sun. You know that yellow fiery ball in the sky? It rises every single day, and humans have lived with it for the past two million years. We need to have the sun frequencies get into our retina where dopamine is produced. And what does your eye doctor tell you? Always wear UV blocking sunglasses when you go out in the sun. Is that a hazardous recommendation? Well, I think so. Dopamine first drops in our eyes and then drops in our frontal lobes in the brain. The irony, that's the part of the brain that allowed us to outsmart mother nature and create our own life. Now we're paying the price with poor frontal lobe function which leads to poor thinking, weight gain, and type 2 diabetes. If it progresses further, then dopamine drops deep within the brain and we get neurodegenerative diseases like Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, and Huntington's. The bottom line, we are designed to make use of UV light. If you don't, you'll be part of the explosion of modern diseases that I'm seeing in my practice. This is Dr. G. Thanks for watching.